All right, we're back. <clears throat> so I got the uh, front end off of um, the older MN and uh, the video to swap out real quick. So it wasn't bad at all, to be honest. Like six screws, you gotta take the shocks off completely. And then you take, the, once you got the shocks off, this part will come off. And then you just take your part out here. Now I'm hoping that this just fits. And we'll see in a minute, right? Watch with me. Uh, but like you're seeing, it's just so we're basically just making two front ends. Open it. Should in theory. In theory. Again, I've never done any of this kind of stuff before, but I've watched a lot of crawler videos, 419 and Adventure Time, and uh, Cactus Crawlers, Candy Crawlers. I watch all those guys. Um, they're constantly doing stuff. Half time, I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Cool watch because <laughs> I just don't, you know, crawlers that much. So, learn it along the way, right? With you guys, so, so yeah, it's pretty easy. It's just the four, four um, tie rods, and, um, four screws that hold the chassis mount plate. I was able to just swap them out on the other one. Not a big deal at all. So that's our front. And hopefully this lines up. And it looks like it's gonna. If it does. Uh, we got one problem. It almost lines up. So. Almost. So I learned something new today. You can't just swap these out. Yeah, it's still not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to fabric cobble something a little bit. Um, but when I come back, I might have to just drill new holes for that. See that? I'm gonna have to drill a new hole right there. Um, which is fine. <coughs> but let me um, make sure everything else lines up first. So I'll be right back once I get the axle put back in and we'll see where it goes. But yeah, see so that looks like that. But, or I could cut out this piece to hold the servo. But I'm not sure I'm just use that. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, so I figured out what the easiest thing's gonna be. So we need to have this one line up, but these side ones will not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind these off flush to leave the holes there. I'm gonna drill new holes, but those new holes, I'm gonna have to put washers and reinforce them a little bit, uh, make sure they stay together. Maybe put a, a rod that goes across the front. Uh, we'll see, I'll play with it, see where we go. But um, yeah, when I come back, we should have a solution. Because you see here, this lines up. This lines up here, but these holes do not. So I need to make new holes and rather than mess with the frame, I'd rather you do the plastic piece that's easier one to replace in the end. So we'll try that out and hopefully it does something. I'll be right back. All right, so we got all that done. I think that's gonna be it for this video, um, but you can see where our progress is. So this is the original. Now I did also have to, the dog, um, the, uh, uh, losing my train of thought. These, uh, oh, what the heck they call them. Axles, it's fine. Um, they're different than the old ones, so I had to swap out the pumpkins. Um, now, notice there is metal there, but the plastic from the original one. So, um, this rig's got to be put back together once I get upgrades for this because all these parts will be available because I'm getting new axles. Um, so, yeah, so uh, I got left to do off screen is I got to put two new screws on that and I got to figure out the best way to harness that and figure out how to get the dual steering to work on the electronics. But hopefully you guys dig. This is part one. Part two will be, you know, it running. So we'll get the tires on them. Actually, let's do that real quick before we uh, call it a day so we can actually see it looking like a roller. Said we're gonna use the metal tires. 
or the metal rims just because I have plans for the, if this works out, I have plans for the silver body, which is why I'm doing this before I do the body work. Um, started mapping it out and figuring out what I wanted to do. Um, and if I get the dual steering working, I, I don't, I want to probably get rid of the whole bed and just use the cab. We'll see. We'll see. I did some stuff lining it up and I, looking at the bumpers and a couple other things. But I think that's where we're at this time. Hopefully you guys dig. Looks pretty good. Got the old rear fronts in the rear, and this is the front. But not bad. I dig it. Like and subscribe and all that. I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully this will keep to get this rolling. You know, a day or two. Plus I'm gonna get some outside video. I don't care. It's beautiful out. It's supposed to be 30 tomorrow. We'll get some more video footage outside. Get that lunch box out. Like and subscribe, guys. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.